You know, the very uh, strange weather um, that we're having around the world in, in New York, uh, these incredible uh, cold spells that we have had. Uh, who had ever heard of the vortex in New York, right, before, before that weird weather? Um, incredible heat that Australia has suffered, the floods in the UK, and you name it, it goes on and on and on and on. There's no country that has been exempted. These very strange extreme weather events are going to continue both in their frequency and in their severity. It's not that climate change is going to be here in the future. We are experiencing climate change. This Arctic blast could see America reach its coldest temperatures in decades. Millions of people across a huge swathe of the country are being advised to hunker down while the so-called polar vortex does its worst. Minnesota could be hardest hit with wind chills set to make it feel like an astonishing minus 50 Celsius. The polar plunge has struck unusually far south. In Oklahoma, the rotating pool of freezing air is producing rarely seen temperatures. The inside of the New York to Washington DC train iced up. Try opening the window in Chicago and you'll get this. 35 below zero, right in your living room. It's so cold, Lake Michigan looks more like a hot tub. The water outside Chicago warmer than the frigid air, and ice already forming along the banks. Images of water turning to ice before it reaches the bottom. Parts of Niagara Falls have become frozen. South as Texas and here in Elk City, Oklahoma, heavy snow is falling. This is unusual even for winter. This weather combination that we're seeing right now with all of the snow and the cold is unlike anything that we've seen in decades. And I, I can't emphasize that enough. The cold really scares me. And as such that we were have temperatures that are potentially deadly or certainly life altering temperatures. Hundreds of flights continue to be canceled, leaving passengers stranded. While on the coast, not far away, seawater, which flooded some communities during the storms, has now frozen over, marooning people there too. Severe, pervasive and irreversible, words used in a new UN report about the likely impact of global warming. Amid extreme weather worldwide, experts say the health, economic prospects and food and water sources of billions of people are at stake. It's everything from droughts to rising sea levels. We're not in an era where climate change is some kind of a, a future hypothetical. We live in a world where impacts of climate change are widespread and consequential. We see impacts from the equators to the poles and from the coast to the mountains. There's no question that we live in a world that's already altered by climate change. Powerful waves have continued to pound Europe's Atlantic coastline. Two people are now feared dead in the French holiday resort of Biarritz after they were swept out to sea. The town's famous promenade was battered during the night, leaving many businesses to pick up the pieces on Tuesday morning. The surge wasn't isolated to France. A large stretch of Europe's Atlantic coastline was hit by high tides, including Portugal and the Spanish region of Galicia. At least one person is now known to have died in Spain, with two others still unaccounted for. In Portugal, this amateur footage showed one man's desperate attempt to save his car, just managing to escape in the nick of time. Elsewhere, near the capital Lisbon, the swell was so bad, huge pools of foam like this started washing up along the shore.
An earthquake of around seven magnitude has struck China's far western region of Xinjiang. It's the earthquake that shook central New Zealand, including the capital, Wellington. The minute-long 6.3 magnitude rolling. Thousands of residents woke with a bang this morning after a series of earthquakes rocked the state. Many have told of their fear and confusion as the shock waves rumbled through the suburbs. Tremors and shakes were felt right across Metro Adelaide. We have very few this close to Adelaide that are of uh, this magnitude, so it is more unusual. South Carolina and Georgia got a bit of a shake last night. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 4.1 shook homes and rattled residents' nerves. It's the second largest earthquake to ever hit the state. A 6.9 earthquake hitting off the coast of Eureka. Already four aftershocks. Chile has ordered an evacuation of parts of its northern coast following an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.0, jolted an area 35 kilometers north. Whoa! Oh. Big earthquake. Big earthquake to, uh, right now. Big earthquake. That's... Okay. A really strong shaker yeah. right now. Very big. I still feel it. Are you still feeling it? Yeah. Well, Steady it's shaking still there. still shaking. My hands are no. shaking. A 4.4 magnitude earthquake has shaken Los Angeles. This is the second quake to hit the state in a week. This is the strongest quake to hit the city since the last aftershocks of the 1994 Northbridge quake. The United States Geological Survey said there could be a 5% chance of another strong quake within the next three days. Local residents in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick woke up to a bit of a surprise when a giant fireball illuminated Canada's skies early on Tuesday morning. CCTV captured the incredible moment when a bright burst of light lit up the sky. The fireball, which is thought to be a meteorite, could also be seen from Nova Scotia, where eyewitnesses said they saw bright lights in the sky and heard a loud noise like thunder at around 5 a.m. local time. Are there any injuries? Yes, there's people yelling for help. A desperate call to the emergency services as a deadly tide of mud and rock crushed everything in its path. Houses were swept off their foundations, trees keeled over, and people were sucked into the sea of mud like quicksand. 24 people are confirmed dead and 170 others are still missing. It's believed a small earthquake may have triggered the tragedy. It's like a war zone up there. People finding children, people finding babies. And while the task of finding bodies is already so grim, some have had the even more unimaginable trauma of finding only partial remains. The slide hit with such force that oftentimes the rescuers are not recovering full intact victims. A massive turnout by the emergency services personnel uh, going through their districts checking. Uh, a lot of rolling going on down here. My family lives down here in Orange County. They said it was quite violent. It went on for quite a while, so a pretty good shaker coming through. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake shook Los Angeles, triggering a rock slide. This is actually the second noticeable earthquake that this area has had in just the past two weeks. And since the earthquake hit, there have been more than 100 aftershocks, including one that was 3.4 just a short time ago. The ground shook just after 9 Friday night. We might be experiencing, I should say, an earthquake here. And seismologists are particularly worried about this quake because they think this fault may be reawakening. We haven't heard from this particular fault, they don't think, in several decades. The reason they really don't want to see this fault wake up again, it runs right through downtown L.A. Yeah, the second largest city in the country, right? This footage shows a rare tornado that ripped through Northern California, damaging dozens of homes while debris smashed windows and ripped holes in walls and left residents of the city of Roseville in shock over the unusual event. A magnitude quake hit the northern part of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. It shook the ground at about 5.30 this morning, California time. It was felt in towns along the Montana-Wyoming border, including West Yellowstone. This morning, 
tsunami sirens blaring. Chaos as an 8.2 magnitude earthquake rocks the coast of Chile. Driving almost a million people to evacuate their homes. Fires burning after a six foot tsunami followed the quake. The shock waves were felt hundreds of miles away, shaking buildings as far away as Bolivia and Peru. People are dead and many more injured. For the past seven days, more than 1,700 earthquakes worldwide, we do still have tsunami advisories. The earthquake even triggered microscopic seismic measurements in New York's Central Park. There have already been more than two dozen aftershocks. In just the past two weeks, hundreds of earthquakes have been shaking Chile's far northern coast. Just about 24 hours ago, there has been another strong earthquake off northern Chile, and the emergency office there has ordered preventive evacuation of the coastline in the north of the country. There's a magnitude a quake magnitude 7.4 offshore. Latest official report on climate change that says it is underway, and we are already suffering the effects. Here in Australia, air and ocean temperatures are increasing, with waters off our east coast amongst the fastest warming in the world, and deadly algal blooms, and rainfall is expected to decline across southern New South Wales and Victoria. We should have five seasons in Australia, adding a second spring, basically shortening autumn and winter by two months. The dangers of climate change are set to get much worse. Australia can expect more intense rain and drought, greater bushfire danger and worse cyclones. Warming across every state, every territory and every season in Australia. It's the superstorms bringing nations to their knees. The searing sun turning the earth into a tinderbox, leaving the ground cracked by drought and the crashing waves of rising seas. But it seems this extreme weather isn't random. A UN report says this is climate change and things are only going to get worse. We have reasons to believe that if the, the extent of climate change continues to increase, then the very social stability of human systems could be at stake. Today's report is sombre reading. Rising temperatures and changing weather could mean more crops fail so food is scarce. Wildlife will face extinction. Rising sea levels could make water undrinkable, with flooding forcing millions from their homes. And the threat of war will rise as people fight for resources. US President Barack Obama has warned Russia that any military intervention in Ukraine would lead to unspecified costs. There are reports of Russian troop movements from and into Ukraine's Crimea region. We are now deeply concerned by reports of military movements taken by the Russian Federation inside of Ukraine. One of the world's most deadly infectious diseases is spreading across parts of West Africa. The country is facing an unprecedented epidemic of Ebola. An epidemic of an extent that's never been seen. The president of Guinea has urged the people not to panic. Its movement across Guinea makes it more serious than any previous epidemics. The strain can kill up to 90% of its victims who suffer extensive internal and external bleeding. So far, 78 have died from the disease.